going to Iowa. To get a, to get a, a car, I think. We already got one present from Iowa. Yes, we got one. We have one present from Iowa back there. We had to pick up tires because tell them, tell them what you're doing, Cannon. So this car is showing cords in the rear. So with the help of our friends back here, we've uh, acquired some tires and we're going to go pick up this car for $400 and drive it back here. Drive back to Omaha. And hope that it, yeah, it gets all the way back there. And then we're going to go do some hood rat shit in the street, I assume. We're not prepared for this whatsoever. Um, the parts that we have in case this breaks down is a jack, a four-way, spare tires, and a jack stand. So hopefully it just goes flawless. Yeah, hundred dollars. Oh, we have a hundred bucks. They can get us somewhere. A hundred dollars. Yeah. So hopefully the next update is driving a car. <laughs> what if I start spraying gas everywhere? We're gassing up because apparently I don't get as good as mileage in the Subaru as I was hoping I'd, or thought I'd. Matt, how are you liking the ride so far? Yeah, we got sticks of meat for we our mouth. Got a drink, dude. Because we're on the way to buy a BMW. What else do you put in your mouth other than some meat? <laughs> if anyone wants to sponsor a detail on this car, you, you know my app. My DMs are open. Please, it's filthy. We're in Des Moines. We just got to Jordan Creek Parkway. Jordan Creek Parkway. Still smells like meth. <laughs> I haven't been able to get that one out of the, the system. Damn. <laughs> so close. Ooh, the big ballers out here. Yeah, go get some nutrients so you're not doing your, your thing. Oh shit, some fucking Mustang GT. Here we are, Des Moines at, what time is it? 12.18. Dad, damn, my phone broke. <laughs> <gasps> no! <laughs> Is that when you dropped it on its face? Check this out. It's fine, right? Mm-hmm. So, me and Matt came up with this conclusion that we don't install, uh, like, camber arms anymore. You don't, you know, box and extend anything. You don't get top hats. All you do is you blow out your wheel bearings so bad that, look at that, at least three degrees. So the only thing holding this on right now is basically the... Caliper and the rotor. Yeah. Do you have that piece? Oh, perfect. This little guy right here uh, was shredded off in the axle there, so uh... Literally the axle nut snapped. Hey, will you make sure my car doesn't roll away? Yeah, I got you, fam. Thank you. Got this wheel stop here. You're not driving into Omaha tonight? Bro, it, it starts wiggling at 30, and the axle's broken, man. All right, so we'll meet you at Mason's. So Gannon's pretty excited the car hasn't blown up or the wheel hasn't fallen off, and we're only about 20 minutes from Omaha now. My mans. Off we go. Can you imagine if that would have happened to me on the interstate, dude? <laughs> Could you hey, fucking, I'm gonna hey, take go this go over. Can I take this over? All right, so we just drove this thing back to Omaha with a broken axle, knowingly. I did this. I did this knowingly, and uh, yeah, pretty much was just waiting for that to happen. Except on the interstate, and fucking thank fuck it didn't. Damn, we all the way geeked up, boy. Look at that angle, boy. Woo! Hey, it's Gannon. We're about a block away, and that fucking wheel finally lopped over. <laughs> yeah. 
It's uh, it's pointing at it's pointing at the sidewalk. The tread is pointing at the sidewalk, and the car is straight. So yeah, if I I don't know, I'm not sure what what the fuck I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the jack stand underneath it and try and get it as close to the curb as I can, I guess, and just leave it here. I don't. I'm not getting it a fucking block. That's for sure. A day in the life of fucking scrapeyard. Scrapeyard ruined my life. <laughs>